the YouTube channel for Mania. So in today's video, we are going to compare the Galaxy S9 Plus versus the Galaxy S10 Plus versus the Galaxy S20 Ultra. Three years of Galaxy S devices. So I'm so excited for this video. So guys, let's get started. So guys, from the display, the Galaxy S20 Ultra have a 6.9 inch massive display versus 6.4 on the Galaxy S10 Plus versus 6.2 on the Galaxy S9 Plus. While we look at the design, the Galaxy S20 Ultra have an Infinity O versus dual selfie punch hole on the Galaxy S10 Plus versus a bezel on the Galaxy S9 Plus. But the difference between the Galaxy S9 Plus and the Galaxy S20 Ultra are the 120Hz refresh rate. So you can see 120Hz refresh rate. So this is not supported on both the Galaxy S10 Plus and the Galaxy S10 Plus. So it makes the phone feel much smoother to responsive. Actually it have 120Hz refresh rate and 240Hz touch response rate. So it by the combination of that both the phone feels much smoother as you guys can see instant responsive launching the notifications everything feels much smoother guys. So guys, let's look at the gorgeous display. From the Galaxy S20 Ultra, we are getting a 1414 14 to 3200 pixels and a PPA of 511. While it comes to the Galaxy S10 Plus, we are getting a resolution of 1414 14 to 3040 with a PPA of 522. While it comes to the Galaxy S9 Plus, we are getting a resolution of 1414 14 to 2960 and a PPA of 529. But these three at a glance feel superb displays, excellent viewing, all vivid, sharp and crystal clear displays as you guys can see it so well. Excellent displays on these three. But the Galaxy S10 Plus and the Galaxy S20 Ultra are certified by HDR10 Plus while the Galaxy S9 Plus have HDR10. So there is a difference between these three guys. So you can see both will play exactly the same content and the excellent crisp and clear on these three guys the camera so the cameras on the galaxy s20 ultra have a major upgrade while compared to the galaxy s9 plus and that of the galaxy s10 plus so we do get some same features on the galaxy s10 plus and the galaxy s20 ultra so the galaxy s10 plus received a one ui 2.1 update so after that it got some features that were exclusive to the galaxy s20 series so which was the pro video mode so in pro video mode we can basically adjust the aperture levels then the white balance then the iso level so it's missing on the galaxy s9 plus then we have live focus video which does basically background blurring that means the depth effect for the videos so that's also missing on the galaxy s9 plus and we get a pro mode on the galaxy s9 plus but it's absolutely for the photo not for the video so that's a different then we have super steady or single take in both so here is a single take and then on the video it both have super steady or this super steady on super steady on but it's also missing on the Galaxy S9 Plus. Super steady mode is not in the Galaxy S9 Plus. Then we have the single take. So the single take mode basically does is utilizing our secondary camera and makes another photos which may be color filtered, then taking some random videos, hyperlapse, fast forward, then collaborating everything and capturing the perfect moment. So it's absolutely something related to the photography and all. So that's uh, still not on the Galaxy S9 Plus. Maybe with the One UI 2.1 update on the Galaxy S9 Plus, we might get that update, but still at the moment, there is no such updates. Then talking about the cameras much further. So guys, the Galaxy S9 Plus and the Galaxy S10 Plus shares some similar aspect because 12 mm camera 12 mm camera then 12 mm telephoto camera 12 mm telephoto camera the main primary camera on the galaxy s9 plus and the galaxy s10 plus are 12 mb f 1.5 to f 2.4 so it can switch based on the available light if the light is too low it will switch to f 1.5 to take bright shots and if it is in extreme daylight conditions to take vivid shot or the maximum smoothness it will switch to f 2.4 to take the vivid shots but on the galaxy s20 ultra we are getting a fixed aperture camera which is fixed at f 1.8 lens but then come to the telephoto we can have a 12 mb telephoto over here here also 12 mb that's same on both but we here we are getting a 48 mb periscope telephoto camera which is capable of 100x digital zoom 10x hybrid optic zoom and a 4x optical zoom then on the main camera as I already told 12 MB same on this guys but this guy have got a 108 MB Samsung custom made sensor so that's absolutely great then we have a 12 MB ultra wide camera on the galaxy 
S20 Ultra versus say 16MB on the Galaxy S10 Plus. Then we have a TOF camera which makes basically the depth effect on for the videos and all. Then when it comes to the front camera. So guys, while coming to the front camera, the Galaxy S20 Ultra got a 40MB front camera versus 10MB along with an 8MB depth camera on the Galaxy S10 Plus versus just an 8MB on the Galaxy S9 Plus. So guys, now it's time for the performance. So we are playing the PUBG Mobile in the Galaxy S10 Plus, Galaxy S10 Plus and the Galaxy S20 Ultra in the higher end settings of the PUBG. So guys, let's get started. So guys, I have switched to the maximum resolution on the Galaxy S9 Plus. So guys, we are on the Galaxy S9 Plus. So you guys can see it. Actually while looking at the surroundings and all I didn't felt any lags over here. As you guys can see it's on the higher end settings on the PUBG. So as it plays absolutely smooth, no sort of issues, no frame drops yet. So guys, so guys, PUBG is playing perfectly on the Exynos 9810 of the Galaxy S9 Plus is powered with the Exynos 9810 which is now So guys as you can see no sort of issues lags whatsoever ever in the Galaxy S9 Plus. Still the two year old flagship phone still performs great in 2020. So you guys can see now we can let switch to the Galaxy S10 Plus. Guys playing the PUBG Mobile on the Galaxy S10 Plus. So guys we are now on the Galaxy S10 Plus. So you can see no, no lags whatsoever on the Galaxy S10 Plus. But actually it feels more smooth than that of the Galaxy S9 Plus over there. Much smoother overall. Yes, let's land it upon over here. Nothing over here. So guys, as you can see in the Galaxy S10 Plus, no sorts of lags. Actually, it's playing absolutely smooth. Actually, it's much smoother than that of the Galaxy S9 Plus we have played just before. So you can see it well. Perfect one. See you guys, no sorts of issues over here. So now we can move to the Galaxy S20 Ultra guys. So guys playing PUBG on the Galaxy S20 Ultra. 
So guys, you can see the graphics which is set, uh, set to HDR and Ultra on the Galaxy S20 Ultra. So you can see... Guys, surprisingly the Galaxy S10 Plus did well on the higher end settings too. See guys... Yes, as you guys can see in the around and also in the high-end settings, no so issues and lag so ever. See, it still performs great. But actually, while compared to the Galaxy S9 Plus, this one feels much smoother than that of the Galaxy. So guys, this one is super fluidic. Actually, this one performs better than that on the Galaxy S10 Plus. See guys, it's absolutely flow to the phone. See the transitions, everything looks so nice. So guys, I didn't felt issues on these three Galaxy S9 Plus, S10 Plus and the Galaxy S20 Ultra. No issues in the higher end settings too. But on the Galaxy S9 Plus, uh, it was not as smooth as that on the Galaxy S10 Plus and the Galaxy S20 Ultra. So that's the only issue I felt in the Galaxy S9 Plus. Apart from that, these three devices still performs great. Actually, surprising the S9 Plus, the two-year-old flagship still performs great performance by the Galaxy S9 Plus. Okay. As you guys can see the roundings and all, graphic shadow effects. So I will be doing a detailed gaming review for about 2 hours or more actually. Some of the YouTubers may complain that the Galaxy S20 Ultra after 2 hours or more gaming uh, may tend to have a little heating issue and some minor frame drops. Yes, I do feel some minor frame drops after playing games for continuously about three hours or more but actually it was not well noticeable we may think that once it a frame drop or something like that actually it was almost negligible guys then about the heating issue i didn't felt any heating issues actually a minor heating and that's absolutely normal but when it comes to the galaxy s10 plus it heats on the frame guys and no so heat on the back but it heats in the frame actually i will be doing a detailed gaming review and so on the other hand, the Galaxy S20 Ultra on playing games gets a minor heat and actually maybe with the future updates it will be fixed soon. So that's all regarding the gaming. So guys, now it's time to move to the features. The Galaxy S20 Ultra supports 5000 mAh battery and supports 45 watts charging. Well, the Galaxy S10 Plus just support 15 watts and higher battery mAh of 4100. Well, the Galaxy S9 Plus have 3500 mAh and supports 15 watts of charging. While the main interesting thing in, in the Galaxy S10 Plus and the Galaxy S20 Ultra is it supports reverse wireless charging. So you can charge any of your wireless devices like the Galaxy S10 Plus, Galaxy Watch and all it there in the back of the phones with a 9 watts charging capability. So that's absolutely nice. So this one supports 45 watts charging there. So that's incredibly great when compared to the others. Apart from that, this Galaxy S10 Plus have many security options like iris scanner, a face recognition, then the optical fingerprint scanner. While coming to the Galaxy S10 Plus and the Galaxy S20 Ultra, they have under display fingerprint scanner. That means ultrasonic fingerprint scanner and a face recognition with the help of 2D face recognition with the help of front camera. So that's all regarding the comparison between the Galaxy S10 Plus, Galaxy S9 Plus and the latest and the greatest Galaxy S20 Ultra. So guys, that's all. Actually, I will be doing extra videos regarding these three guys. So guys, stay tuned. Thank you.